What we're going to do today is take a modern poem and instead of make it new, we are going to make it yours. You're going to take a modern poem. In this example, we're going to use This Is Just to Say by William Carlos Williams. And you are going to alter it in a fashion that makes it something totally new, but still recognizable as a modification of the original poem. So let's, the best way to do this is to look at the example. Let's read through the poem first. This is just to say that I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. All right, now let's look at what a student did with it. This is just to say that I have taken the critter that was in the cage and which you were probably punishing for being bad. Forgive me. It was sad, so lonely, and so playful. Now, in this case, you can see that the poem is based on the famous poem, and you can recognize it hasn't changed so much that it's unrecognizable, but you're being playful with it. You're making it your own. Let's see what another student did with it. This is just to say that I have read the words in the book, which you probably doubt. Forgive me. Don't judge me. I'm so far away. So imperfect. So imperfect. Or how about, this is just to say that I have taken the life that was in your hands which you were probably wanting to last forever. Forgive me, I was so drunk, she was so sweet, and now so cold. Here she's taken something that was fairly light, and making it something pretty dark. Let's try a different poem. Accepting the diner on the outskirts, the town of Ladora at 3 a.m. was dark, but for my headlights. And up in one second story room, a single light where someone was sick or perhaps reading as I drove past at 70, not thinking. This poem is for whoever had the light on. Accepting that it was still a tie on the scoreboard, the team of kids at the ballpark was sad. When up and out of the ballpark, a single hit by someone with skill or perhaps luck. Then I ran past home plate at 70, rejoicing. This poem is for whoever hit the winning run. Here's another. Accepting the blind in the woods in the town of Hulbert at 3 a.m. was still, but for the movement down at the bait pile where a deer gave a single snort, eating or perhaps smelling as I walked past, not thinking. This poem is for whoever ends up eating my venison steaks. So pick a poem, something short, something by an American poet between 1900 and before the 1960s, and make it yours.